Yes. Yeah, can we get a few of your thoughts on regulation when it comes to the scams and uh, one coin and those types of deals? So the question was uh, my thoughts on regulation and when it comes to scams, especially <laughs> such as one coin and things like that. How many people here have heard of one coin? Great. How many people here are invested in one coin? Ah, phew. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, so I don't believe that regulation um, can protect people from uh, losing their own money. The problem is that there is no way you can stop someone who is both greedy and not willing to or not able to learn how to invest in a rational manner, you can't protect them from losing your money. And if you put regulation in place, all you do is you push these things into the background, but they don't stop happening. You know? um, and the reason is because it's built into the human brain. It triggers specific cognitive biases that we have as human beings. That's why gambling is so successful. <laughs> right? Um, I don't know if this is a common expression here, but uh, in, in, in the States at least we say gambling is a tax for people who don't understand the mathematics of probability. <laughs> right? um, and so if you understand how probability works, you can't rationally gamble, ever. The only reason you would gamble is if you decide, I'm going to lose some money, and the fun I'm getting while I'm losing money is worth it, so I'm paying a fee for temporary fun. Uh, but most people can't do that because once you get into it, the gambling process itself triggers these responses. You start getting confirmation bias, selection bias, survivorship bias. These are known cognitive biases. The person who wins thinks they were lucky but they don't think about all the times they lost, right? And as you're doing this, it's triggering your dopamine centers. And so as a result, you get into it, and it's an addictive activity. The same thing applies to investing in an ICO, or a cryptocurrency, or a Ponzi scheme, or one point. And that applies both to the ones that have fundamental basis, right? And the ones that don't. Honest question, how many people here are so excited that every morning the first thing they do is check the price of Bitcoin or Ether? <laughs> right? It tickles your dopamine centers. <laughs> and you don't remember the times when you lost money on these technologies. You remember the times when the price is really high and you were really happy. Your brain does that on purpose to shield you from disappointment. You shouldn't look at these things as investments, especially not short-term investments. There are technologies to learn from. But whether it's a really important technology like Bitcoin, or it's a completely bogus scam like OneCoin, our response to it as human beings is exactly the same. right? And that's the problem. And there's no amount of regulation that can change the fundamental human nature. It's, it's like making drugs illegal, right? <laughs> if you make all drugs illegal, people will sniff glue, because glue is still legal. It doesn't make any difference. 